Welcome to the FreeNAS YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we're going to discuss how to install FreeNAS. Before we get started, let's go over the basics of what you'll need to run FreeNAS. First, you'll need a 64-bit system that will be used solely for FreeNAS. It's important to remember that FreeNAS is not dual boot friendly, so make sure you're only using this system for FreeNAS. FreeNAS requires a minimum of 8GB of RAM, and more if you're installing virtual machines or plugins. Next, you'll need a thumb drive a solid state drive, or a hard disk drive, with at least 8GB of storage capacity, to serve as the boot device for FreeNAS. An SSD is an ideal choice for longevity, but keep in mind that the entire disk will be used for the FreeNAS operating system. A SATA DOM is also a great choice if you have one available. You'll want at least one hard drive for storage of files. Multiple drives of the same capacity can be used to provide redundancy. You'll need an Ethernet cord to connect your system to the network. There's no wireless support in FreeNAS. You'll need a blank CD or USB stick to create the FreeNAS installation media. Note that the installation media is not the same as the boot device. You'll want to grab the latest FreeNAS image from our website at www.freenas.org download. A monitor is needed for the initial install and setup. After the setup is complete, the monitor can be disconnected. And lastly, a separate computer or laptop with an internet browser is needed to access the GUI and administer your FreeNAS system. Firefox is the recommended web browser of choice. Once you've downloaded the FreeNAS installation media, you'll need to burn the image to a blank CD or write it to a blank USB drive. If you need assistance with this step, refer to the instructions linked in the description of this video. Now that we've gone through the basics of what you need to get started, let's begin the installation. To begin the installation of FreeNAS, Make sure that both the boot device and the FreeNAS installation media are inserted in the machine that you chose to run FreeNAS. Next, boot into the BIOS of the system and double check that your system is set to boot from the device that contains the FreeNAS installation media that you created earlier. After confirming, reboot the system. The FreeNAS install menu will now be displayed. Choose option 1 on the menu to begin the FreeNAS installation. This will load the console setup menu. Hit enter to choose the install slash upgrade option. The next menu asks which drive should be used for FreeNAS. Make sure to select the boot device and not the storage disk. This menu will show the size of the disks to make it easier to determine the boot device, which is generally a smaller size than the storage disks. The one you want will likely be the smallest on this list. Note that the names of your drives will be different than this video. Next, press the arrow keys to select a drive and press the spacebar to designate it as the drive you wish to use. Hit OK, then Yes to proceed. Remember, the boot device cannot be used for anything other than the operating system itself. Next, type in and confirm the password that you want to use for FreeNAS. FreeNAS can be booted in either BIOS or UEFI mode. For the purposes of this video, I'll be choosing BIOS. BIOS works for almost all motherboards and is typically the option to choose for older hardware. Choosing UEFI mode will require that your motherboard is more modern and UEFI capable. Once chosen, your installation will begin. Now wait for a bit, grab a cup of coffee. All of those commands popping up on the screen are perfectly normal. It should only take a few minutes. Once this step is done, choose OK to reboot your system. Remove the installation media from your system. As the system reboots, double check the BIOS to make sure that the boot order now defaults to the FreeNAS boot device. When the system boots for the first time from the boot device, messages will appear as the FreeNAS operating system is loading. When it is done loading, you will see the console setup menu. At the bottom of the screen, an IP address will be listed. If it instead shows 0.0.0.0, .0 check that the network cable is plugged in and that the network has a DHCP server. Now from a separate computer that is connected to the same network, open a web browser and type in that address. The FreeNAS login menu should appear. Type in root for the username and the password you created during the installation. Once you're logged in, you'll have access to the FreeNAS web interface, which is used to manage your storage disks, configure access to the stored data, and view the status of your system. Congratulations, you've just installed FreeNAS. Make sure to check out our other videos to learn more about configuring and using FreeNAS. FreeNAS is the open source community edition of the iX Systems TrueNAS product family. 
a comprehensive line of powerful unified storage products for organizations of all sizes. With its flash-based architecture, powerful ZFS file system, and award-winning support, TrueNAS Systems provides secure, scalable, and flexible high-performance storage for virtually any application and budget. To learn more about the TrueNAS product family from iX Systems, visit us on the web at ixsystems.com.